This old orchard has a lot of bear damage. Almost every tree. You can see the claw marks as the bears were climbing the trees and see where branches were ripped down and where pruning choices were determined by what the bear did to the tree. And this last year, the bear was very brutal. Nightly, we had trees pushed over or whole branches kicked down. This could destroy an orchard. And I could see evidence that fences did not work. And I didn't know what to do. And it's a very bad feeling seeing something so beautiful and special being torn apart nightly. So, where there are apples, there are bears. And I started learning from my own experience, you know, as you live with bears, that not all bears are the same. They have different things they do, and that what you do in response has an effect. For example, we had one bear that figured out where we kept the grain, and nightly was tearing at the door until it figured out how to open the door and drag off the grain. So one night at 3 a.m., I was walking Lizzie, my intense bouvier, and she saw the bear and went for it and chased that bear off. And just like that, the nightly onslaught was gone, and that bear did not return to that door, and I started researching dogs. So the question became, would livestock guardian dogs work? Historically, they are used to protect livestock, and most of the literature and research is geared towards that. So I was sort of on my own, trying to figure out if I could utilize a livestock guardian dog on a small farm to protect orchards. Um, I ended up getting two Pyrenees puppies, Bonnie and Clyde. And about six months later, I had a face-to-face -face with the bear. It was early evening, and the bear was walking into the orchard, and it was quite a moment. And in my head, I was looking at that bear, and I was like, oh, no, you don't. And I swear, the bear looked at me with a face that said, oh, yes, I am. Huh. So I yelled to my husband to get Lizzie, and true to form, she went for the bear. And I ran, and I let out Bonnie and Clyde also, and together they started pushing the bear back. It was amazing. And this year in the orchard, all we had was a few broken limbs. The dogs are absolutely working. Now, of course, the training that went into the dogs to get the job done is a whole other story. But it has definitely been worth the time and effort. And I guess that's all from Mitchell Grove. Thanks for joining us.